$230,000 is how much we pay for this house behind me in the neighborhood where all the houses sell anywhere between four and $500,000. It is a three bedroom, two bathroom house and we're going to fix it up to add it into our rental proposal. As you can see, it uh, kind of needs some work. As a real estate investor who owns almost 100 doors of rentals, I'm going to show you the way that I'm doing to increase as much property value as possible while spending as little money as possible without being a slumlord, of course. And this is one of the methods that made me a millionaire through real estate at the age of 26 and holding a portfolio worth about $8 million in real estate at the age of 29. So let's get it started. All right, living room and dining room. This is very easy, okay? So just remove the popcorn ceiling. Please do not paint over popcorn ceiling. That's a sin. And whoever invented popcorn ceiling should be in jail right now. Let's all agree with that. So remove the popcorn ceiling, paint the ceiling. After removing the popcorn ceiling, paint the walls, paint the trims, clean up the floors. Also add a light in the middle of this room. More light means more space. More space means more money. More money means more, uh, honey. All right, this kitchen is actually a no-brainer. It's very easy. Just paint the cabinets, put new hardware on it, replace the light, get a new light fixture over here, and clean up the appliances and get the new countertop, and that's it. For countertops, usually there are three options. Marble, granite, quartz. Marble, it's expensive and it stains like crazy. Any wine, soy sauce, whatever. Anything stains, well stained marble, and you'll have to spend all that money to replace the countertop again when the tenant moves out. So don't do marble as your rentals. For flips, I still wouldn't do it because it's super expensive. And between granite and quartz, which one would I choose? Quartz, because quartz is more stain resistant than granite. And for these appliances, just clean them. If this is a flip, I'll have to get a whole new set of appliances over here. But if this is just a rental, if they work, don't replace them. Just clean them up and then replace them as they break. All right, the family room. We're probably just gonna take this fan off and put the light here instead. Paint the mantle black because this is a white color. It just looks kind of tacky. Well, for the hall bath, the tub shower, we're actually just going to paint these tiles. And please, please, please do not buy those DIY resurfacing kit, okay? Hire a professional to do this job. You may save some money on the front end, but those DIY kits within two years always peel. So have a professional to do it. And they're really not that expensive. $300, you can get this whole shower resurfaced. And they clean it for you too. Well, for this hall bath, I'll just demo this whole thing out and uh, go to Home Depot or Lowe's and uh, buy a contractor pack over here and uh, call it. All right, bedrooms. For this bedroom, we're just kind of the same thing. Remove the popcorn ceiling, paint the ceiling, paint the wall, paint the trim. Replace this fan with a light. A light is way cheaper than a fan and it's way easier to install. If my tenants want their fan while they sleep, they can go to Walmart and buy a $20 box fan and put it over there. So, and that works as a sound machine as well. And also we're gonna replace this carpet and I just, uh, I don't want to smell it. It smells like a... Uh, opportunity. We're gonna remove all of this and put LVP4 in this bedroom. That's it, don't overspend your money. All right, for this master shower, we're actually gonna demo it down to the studs and redo this entire shower. Okay, first of all, there's a hall closet behind this shower wall over here. So we're gonna actually demo this whole thing down and push the shower back about two feet, which is how deep the closet is. And in that case, we actually get to have a double vanity here. And double vanity actually helps a ton in the future if we ever decide to resell this house. Because in master bathrooms, a double vanity speaks a thousand words. Trust me on that. Don't you like these avocado green tiles? I probably shouldn't have touched that. Anyways, also install a shower fan in this bathroom and put it on the same light switch with a shower light. So the tenant has to turn on the fan while he's taking his shower so you don't get any mold in the house. Also, if you're demoing the entire shower, Elevate the ceiling to the same ceiling level, okay? In the old days, people have trouble keeping the house warm during winters, so they built small showers in order to trap the steam. But nowadays, we don't have that problem anymore. So always raise that ceiling to the same level of the whole bathroom ceiling. It's gonna look way bigger. All right, basement. If this basement had any windows, I would maybe consider to turn some of this basement space into a bedroom. But because this basement does not have any windows, we're just gonna keep the way it is. First of all, we're gonna remove all this drop ceiling because it's just a great place for roaches and rats to live in. So I always like to remove them. Add some recess lights down here, spray the ceiling black. Paint the walls, add some LVP floor down here, and call it. Don't overspend on your basement. You don't have to overspend to make your basement look like a Taj Mahal, okay? Your tenants are going to make this a man cave, but that's not your job. Well, here's another thing, water stains. A lot of people are scared of this and they started calling a lot of waterproofing contractors. And those people would want to charge five, 10 grand to waterproof this entire wall. Okay, this is exactly how you should do it. Water gets in from the outside, so fix it on the outside. 
On the inside, all you need to do is buy some waterproofing paint. I like this product called Drylock and just brush it on these walls and call it. That is all you need to do. Most of the work are gonna be done on the outside. Okay, this is the outside of the basement wall where we saw the water stains. First of all, if you see a down spot right here, you will probably need a black pipe to guide the water away from getting into your footings. If that doesn't help, before you spend $10,000 with a waterproofing contractor, Spend $20 and buy some topsoil and lay them around your foundation walls. Why? Okay, if this is the basement wall and this is the soil level, due to settlement, sometimes the soil goes towards the house, which is guiding the water towards the house. What you need to do is buy some topsoil and build it back up again and to guide the water away from the house whenever it rains. And if there's no water on the outside, there's no water on the inside. That is just how physics works. The total budget for this project is about $30,000 and we're trying to get this finished within four weeks. I have flipped and renovated hundreds of houses and I think we're able to get this one finished within the budget and on time. So subscribe to follow along the journey and let me show you how you can build your wealth through real estate.